Normally, I'm a quiet creator. I don't build in public. I don't particularly enjoy people watching my rehearsal. Even as an actress, I would rehearse before rehearsal. So letting you in this early, before it's all figured out, it's frightening to me. I recently heard Daniel Kaluuya say in an interview regarding his writing process. The pivot was, I'm not trying to be good or great, I'm trying to be honest. And I realized this is my North Star. The truth is, I've leaped without a net three times in my life. The first was deciding to become an actress and bearing my soul to strangers in an audience or a classroom. The second was in 2010, sharing my natural hair journey for millions of people to see without a clue of what I was doing. I found success in both spaces. 100K! Now it's time for number three, this. Sharing how I will become a CEO of my own product-based business as I'm becoming it. The reality is I've been in business as an actress and creator for over a decade at this point, but this, this is new. This is the year where I just wanna push myself in more places that I never have. Hey, hey, today is January 13th and I have some exciting news. I just applied for a, it's kind of like a program for entrepreneurs. There's this program called Pipeline and they have a Pathfinders track and, and Jay will probably be able to tell you more about it, but I got in. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it though because you have been through it already. You want me to explain it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm driving. So I'm trying not to die. So Pipeline Entrepreneurs is a program within the Midwest that is imagine it like um, a business fraternity um, in this space that when you're a part of the Pipeline Entrepreneurship Program, you're not only learning how to scale your business, how to how to be a better entrepreneur yourself. Um, so it's not just supporting your business, but supporting you as an entrepreneur. But then you also become a part of a network of a lot of successful entrepreneurs who have gone through the same things you've gone through. And they can now help you and be there for you as friends and family to help you scale your business and to even protect your heart and your mind as an entrepreneur. It's usually Pipeline Fellows. That's normally what they do. And in the last three years, they've introduced Pipeline Pathfinders, which allows for um, people that are maybe not quite yet in that entrepreneurship track of like the business is really kind of forming and running, but they're at the but they but they are entrepreneurial spirited, and it's to support them in figuring out their path and to get ahead. Um, last year, I was a part of the Pathfinders group, and it was very transformative for me. Um, and this year, I got into the fellows with Story Taylor, so it's really cool. And then now Toy is in the Pathfinders. And so uh, for what she's doing with the skincare and with Sunday Sunday. So this is really, this is really big. Um, the, if, if I had any influence over anything, I was telling her to sign up. <laughs> uh, so she did it all yeah. herself. It just so happened to be that we worked, it worked itself out. My camera died. So it's very, very cool. And I'm very excited for him as well. So I was like, it's gonna be the first time that this program has a husband and wife at the same time. So that's dope. So right now though, what we're doing is we are headed to FedEx to get some prints um, for my gift that was supposed to be for Christmas, but couldn't be for Christmas because of all types of reasons. Anyway, I'm preparing some gifts right now for my first products that I'm still in R&D for. And so we have a little postcard that's gonna go in it and we have to get some accessories for the box. Very exciting. So we are at Michael's looking for tissue paper and I need containers because I am going to be making bath bombs. <laughs> and Da Vinci's gonna be helping helping me out with that for the first time, so he's super excited. I'm recording too. I've been doing my best. He wants this thing. All right, that's your, your one toy. If we don't find anything, we have these and we can use them for something else later. Just get those? Yeah. So don't get this one. It's up to you. What do you think? I really don't know until I see it in the package. How much are they? 30 bucks. How many it's, it's really up to you. You're the, you're the designer, the packaging person. I lean toward this one because I think that's prettier. I don't think that this is prettier, but I think it'll contrast well with the, with the jars. I'll go ahead and get both of these so we'll have to come back. Okay. All right, let's do it. 
can keep your better. I'ma make a better. The search for jars is not going so well, but we are picking up some other things. I've gotta ship some off to family and friends in New York and Florida and St. Louis. So I've got some craft boxes and it's helping me rethink the packaging a little bit. I need a sieve for the baking soda. These vessels are really beautiful. Darby be doing it. I'm kind of like bothered that they're two different colors. I'm bothered by work. it. You are? Yeah. Okay, so it's nice. Well, so Jay's the one that does, I would say, 99.9% .9 of the decor in our house. Okay. We brought it back. So I let him do what he do, because I'm uh, way too indecisive for this. And he's got a really Mom? good eye. He's got a better eye than I do. Mom? So, yes? The camera's foggy right now. Ah, I see. So he is picking out things for the oh bathroom's gosh, decor. The super foggy. And um, I'm just here for the ride. Yeah, that would look really good. See, he'd just be doing it. I don't know how. My mother. <laughs> That's true. Miss Fonda is the goat. <laughs> my mother. I am just my mother's son. That's all. <laughs> I am just my mother's son. We're only going to get two because we only got one base. Okay. Already got the world on me. Give a pretty brown girl her space. You can keep your bitter. I'm going to make a better way. Hey, hey, nigga, catch a break. Better way. Oh, Good morning. I'm wearing my favorite top. It's, it's getting harder and harder to find things that like really fit the way I want them to. I'm going to an event with Jay where he is being honored as top 10 companies to watch for 2024 by Startland News. There's also gonna be workshops, uh, like business workshops and Y'all know this is the year where I'm developing myself as an entrepreneur as well. So I am first and foremost really excited for him and how he's going to be honored. He's going to be on a panel. And second, it'll be fun to, I guess, go to some workshops. So today with this outfit, I'm going to be sporting my new Anima Iris handbag that I love so much. This bag is so cute. We're on our way to the event and Jay convinced me <laughs> to wear the Louis instead and as soon as I put it on I realized that he was right but I will find an opportunity to wear that other purse because I think it's dope the man of the hour hey 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 and we are um, trying not to be late so I'll let you guys go <laughs> rebuilt it, I changed it into something else, and I really doubled down on imagination and play because that's how we're going to emotionally get over the hard times. And so it kind of awakened this new version. Yeah, I'd kind of say as well, you know, 2020 really allowed me to focus on kind of my future and my trajectory and like what I wanted to accomplish. I knew back in 2013, 2014, when I worked at Boulevard Brewing Company that another brewery was in my future. I just didn't know if I would make that or if I would join one or whatever, but uh, 2020 allowed me to kind of take a step back from everything 
um, and really slow down to kind of understand what legacy I wanted to leave behind, what I could actually leverage, or what I could build with the relationships and the you know the assets that I leverage, um, and what we could do to build community here in Kansas City. So um, you know, 2020 was kind of that perfect storm of forcing me to slow down, but also. Um, you know, people were also slowed down, so I had the ears of other folks that maybe were more receptive to ideas. For instance, my partners probably wouldn't have said yes to a concept like this if it was in a normalized, uh, you know, world situation that we're in now instead of a catastrophe. Um, you know, it really just opened up its own for me that allowed me to really kind of sprint through. 2020, uh, it, was, uh, it was a challenging year uh, for me. Um, it was a very, very crazy year. I lost my house in 2020 in a fire. Um, I lost a lot of my friends that were all in their uh, 20s. Some of them were in their early 30s. Um, so I just started asking myself, well, how long do I have? I don't know. 2020 was the, uh, the year that really opened my eye. Um, all of those dreams and goals and aspirations that you have that you want to achieve by the time you get to retirement, which for me was to teach kids. It's always been something for kids, so always be something for kids. Um, and I do know one expertise that I have is programming. Software engineering is my background. So decided to bring that um, retirement goal today and just make it happen. Um, because I don't know how long I have on this earth, so the little time that I have let me use that to share it with the kids and hopefully they can learn something from it. Yeah. You still doing that? Okay. Uh, Cornell Ellis, you're yeah. live. You did really good on the rest. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you did. He did. Ooh, uh, uh, Max is shining. Happy to be So one of the lessons learned we had was we, we ran into uh, paid social too fast. We just assumed that we needed to. And uh, yeah, that was an expensive lesson. Uh, spend a lot of money on social media ads when they're not interacting with the customers. So the interaction is more important. I get every person that hires me to do their social, how do I get more followers? And that's, that's the question I get every single time that I'm asked and followers don't matter. So I'm always gonna tell you followers don't matter. If you absolutely have to see a number on the screen, you can buy those. If you absolutely have to see the verified check mark, that can also be bought. It does not matter. What matters is the amount of people who are interacting. It matters those consumers that care about what you're showing because if you're not selling to your 1,500 followers, having 15,000 will not matter. So that's one mistake that people focus on. They focus on gathering followers as opposed to gathering customers that are going to buy from them. I'll bring it down to a sixth grade level. I do all of my websites. Bring it, bring it down. Because we as a consumer, and keep in mind what it is to be a consumer, we forget that a lot when we're creating a business and a strategy. Keep in mind, they know nothing, and so you have to explain it so low for them to get it. That you're really excited about your product and your business, but I know nothing. So bring it down to a sixth grade level, explain it to me like I'm five, tell me what you do, tell me what the product, tell me how it can help me. So that's my, that's my help. Bring it down. The event was awesome, very, very awesome. I met so many cool, genuine people in this business world of Kansas City. <laughs> um, and Jay, they love him. <laughs> um, so it's been really, really, really cool. I'm actually waiting right now for him to drive up because it's cold, y'all. It's supposed to be one degree today. Crazy. What is he doing out there? Did he lose his way? But no, it's it's been awesome. Um, Jay's business partner, Herson, is here as well. Um, I got to meet such a nice variety of entrepreneurs um, from all, like from service-based business, product-based businesses. I think most of them were service. And I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be like introduced into this world. <sighs>
it began. Intentionally wore this elevate black. Nice. And Mom, yeah. the video on my iPad instead. Oh, okay. He wants me to film for him. <laughs> well, that's a wrap, kids. I'm going to bed. Super proud of my husband. Yay! <laughs> Until next time. Hey, hey. I am getting ready for the night. I'm using a cleansing oil by Tatcha. And um, I just want to say, today was a good day. <laughs> today was a good day. I, I met some cool people today, a lot of cool people. I feel like I made some genuine connections, which is what I'm always after. Sometimes it's difficult to do that at networking events where everyone's like, oh, who are you? And you know, what can you do for me? But I didn't really feel any of that. Like we were getting to know each other and what we did, but it was on a deeper level and um that was unique and different and i would say i would credit i guess the midwest for that sort of vibe but it was a great time i have definitely been in a funk kind of abusing my body i'm not gonna lie eating everything in sight if you know you know and it's time for me to get back in the gym 